What do you want? What do you want? All right, so I just gave this fool a bath. He really needed one. You can see we're doing our agility, but he knocked this one over. And then I have an oxer for him over there. And this oxer is actually a pretty good size compared to him. I think these poles, the highest is three feet. So he almost got it, except he had to do this one with a running start from back there by the white pole. But if it was just like a couple inches lower, he could definitely get through it by going over this one. Hi, Max. Also, I just had the most disgusting thing happen. So we have this apricot tree and I was picking off some apricots, washing them and eating them. I'd been into one and it had a bunch of fly larvae in it. And I was just like, oh, I spit it out and then like rinse my mouth out. That's why my hair is kind of wet. Yesterday I was going to do a horse vlog and I haven't seen Ricky in quite a while. So I went into his stall and I was petting him and we were having a really good time. He was nudging up against me, trying to get me to scratch his favorite spot on his head. So I was asking him to back up and I did the kind of like and then asked him to back up. And he was doing it before, but then he decided that he didn't want to, so I put just the slightest bit of pressure. Like, I just barely kind of pushed him to ask him to back up some more. So then he turned around and then bit me. So that's what a horse bite looks like. You can see that curve, not that spot right there, but the part above it. That is where his bottom jaw bit in. And then his top jaw, I have a bunch of pollen on my arm for some reason, bit in where you see those little scratches right there. And where the bandit is, he broke some skin. All of these abrasions you see right here are just from the sheer force and the power of his jaw clenching down on my muscles. It was easily the worst pain I've ever experienced. And I have a pretty good pain tolerance. Like things will happen and I'm just like, ah, no, it's fine. But this was horrible. I just yelled out when it happened and then I got out as quickly as possible. Possible. It had me in uncontrollable tears. I've had my foot stepped on by a cantering horse before and that was nothing nearly as bad as this. <laughs> Max, what are you doing? He's eating grass. And I know that some people think that when dogs eat grass it's because they want to throw up, but they also will do it sometimes to help with their digestion. And this dog has been eating grass for the last eight years and still has never thrown up from it. So this is my third bite from Ricky, which is so weird because I've never had a horse bit me. He is the first horse to ever bite me. But the first time that it happened, you see that light red part? That was about as bad as it was, but I've never had it this bad. My arm, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell, but my arm is all swollen from it. I was really worried I wouldn't be able to play violin afterwards because I could kind of feel the pain shooting up my forearm into my fingers a little bit. Luckily, the most comfortable position for it to be in is a 90 degree angle. So it's kind of silly because I have to walk around everywhere with my arm at a 90 degree angle. So really, I'm just like practicing scales. If I try to do anything where I'm like shifting a bunch or like going up and that just is too much on it, but it'll probably be good in about a couple days and then I can start doing more athletic stuff. But it's all right because now I can just focus on lots of scales and vibrato exercises. <laughs> but yeah, anything where it's like, I can kind of stay in the same place for a while. It doesn't involve a lot of shifting like. <laughs> So yeah, don't mind all like intonation and stuff like that, but I can do that and it feels totally fine, which is a really good thing. I am super excited because tomorrow I'm gonna go horseback riding with my friend and it's at my absolute favorite trail place because they let you canter, but I'm not gonna be riding Ricky, I'm gonna be riding another horse since it's far away from his barn. So I'm gonna see if I can bring a small camera and then I can film some of it because it'll be really fun. And also speaking of healthy things, I have been making a lot of healthy snacks on my own right now. I think I'm gonna make a video just showing maybe like three of the recipes that I've made up. But first, I think I have to film more hamster videos because I'm doing a lot of non-hamster videos and I actually have a bunch of edited non-hamster videos right now. But I don't know, I really like this vlog thing, so I'm just gonna keep going with it. <laughs> 